Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports coach and trailer sales on a rainy May afternoon. Like, literally, it's raining right now. All right, got a nice one for you today. So, are you looking for a coach that sleeps like your family and your friends, two full bass, big awnings, Cummins engine, blackout package, 23 model? Look no further, my friends. 2023 Renegade, it's the 45 CBF Freightliner Cascadia chassis, custom ordered with the X15 Cummins, 605 horsepower, 605 ponies under that hood. Six-speed Allison transmission uh, produces 1,850 foot-pounds of torque. Full body paint. Now, this is a classic, Renegade Classic, but lots of upgrades. This is like you blended a Renegade Classic and an Icon together. It's got a lot of the Icon options um, as far as dual inverters, heated floors, full body paint, but you've also got the bunk above the cab, and that's how you get that, you know, 10 people uh, sleeping capacity. So, um, again, Freightliner Cascadia chassis with the rare Cummins X-15. Most of the time when you see a Freightliner, you see what? You see a, uh, you know, the DD-13, DD-15, DD-16 Detroit, which is a great engine. I'm not downplaying them by any means, but um, Cummins, you typically see in a Peterbilt truck. But uh, this gentleman that originally ordered the coach, um, not sure of his background. I'm going to guess something to do with the trucking industry, and he was a Cummins man. So uh, Cummins engine under the hood of this one. 16,400 miles, uh, Michelin tires, knee-deep in rubber. I mean, it's original tires, 16,000 miles, 120 gallons of fuel right here under the door. Uh, this has the new Sears, the new upgraded deluxe seating in the cab, as you can see there. Very nice with the Renegade um, embroidered into the headrest. Um, In-dash navigation, collision mitigation system. That's something we get a lot of calls on on the Renegade product, uh, especially when it's a Freightliner. People want that adaptive cruise and collision mitigation. So. Let's run through the boxes. First one's gonna be your um, your engine batteries uh, with some fuses down there for a few things. Next one back, dual 3000 watt inverters with solar charging and the Dragonfly lithium batteries. That's the game changer, 3.0s, three of them bad boys, lithium batteries. Let me tell you, I've got the build sheet on this coach. That is 13. $13,500 in batteries. I'm going to let you get a good look at $13,500 in lithium batteries. I promise you that's what it cost. Uh, 7575 black and gray tanks. It's got the macerator on it. Uh, here's your water bay with your sewer dumps, powered, fresh water reel, black tank flush. Again, your macerator switches down here. Uh, this coach does have the blackout kit, which is black grill, black steps on the cab, and the Alcoa Dura black wheels. Those aren't just powder coated. We didn't pull them off and powder coat them. They come from Alcoa, uh, just like that. 12,500 watt Onan diesel generator with 61 hours on it. Now, again, we were talking about dual 3,000 watt inverters in a generator with 61 hours, and that's why those two go together. Low hours on a generator, which I know it's a 23 model coach, but still, I had a 23 in here the other day with 500 hours on the generator, and it did not have the dual inverters, and I'll explain a little more here in a minute about what those are doing. Uh, the last compartment is going to be the transfer switch and the shore power cord. I'm going to zoom out. Lauren, my wife that edits all the videos, tells me every time I forget to do that. So we just zoomed out and give you a little more view. 40,000 pound hitch with your air ride and air brake glad hand fittings. If you're pulling a trailer with air ride or air brakes, uh, you got your seven spade trailer plug and then uh, the plug if you want to run a camera on the back of your trailer. So 40,000 pound hitch, adjustable height. Here's something cool camera so you can look at your the ball when you're hitching up and another backup camera look at the paint on this thing wow 
Okay, the dual Gerard awnings runs full length up here, and it's the ones that are the dual pitch. So you can see they kind of come out and then they pitch down. Uh, more storage back here. All the compartments are rhino lined. You've got the three quarter pass through down there. Uh, 450D Aqua Hot, which is going to produce hot water and heat. Uh, it's a boiler system. So this is an all electric coach. No propane on this one. Three slides, keyless entry, another storage here, outdoor Samsung TV and soundbar, and the Truma cooler. You can freeze meat or keep your beverages cold. We're going to keep it um, a little on the classy side there. You can keep your beverages chilled or you can freeze meat for the weekend party. Um, need some tinted windows. That's the only thing I can see. With all that black, it really needs some tinted windows. But whoever buys it, we'll let it be their call. We do tent windows. So if you need that done, we can do that for you. Keyless entry. And the inside is just as nice as the outside. I'm going to kick my shoes off here. So I said heated floor, dual zone. Um... The big cab, air ride seats, in-dash Garmin navigation with Fusion audio system. The upgraded Sear seating. Uh, queen size of bunk over the cab. That's the cushion that I'll show you here in a second when the dinette drops down and makes a bed. It's where that goes. But here's something unique. This is not a afterthought. This was in the build specs. It's got a insulated roof hatch, which if you think about it, if you were out and something happened and you needed to get on the roof, how would you get up there if you didn't have a ladder? Well, I mean, this is like very clever. The, whoever, again, whoever originally built this had some really cool tricked out ideas. Uh, the dinette is a booth style. The center table drops down, turns into a bed. That's where that cushion that's up here, you drop the table leaf down and it goes on top of it. Cabinets galore. I mean, there is storage everywhere in this thing. Uh, the multiplex system, you can also download the app or in the whole coach from your phone. The sofa turns into a queen size bed. Uh, check out all the photos, chasecoach.com for a full description and all the pictures and you can see the beds, you know, the dinette converted and then the sofa converted into a bed. Um, Samsung convection microwave oven, two burner, true induction cooktop. Again, what does true induction mean? What's well, a safety thing? Um, so if you turn it on and lay your hand on it, it will not burn you. It will not get hot. Uh, you have to have a pan that a magnet will stick to. And if a magnet will stick to it, then it will get warm and cook on it. Uh, residential fridge, Samsung, clean as a pin. I mean, as it should be. The coach is a 23. Um, got all the covers. I've got the factory covers that go over the sink. It's got the big stainless single bowl, but huge. Things two and a half foot wide. Uh, Samsung TVs all throughout the coach, bedroom, outdoor. It's got the um, washer and dryer, dryer on top, washing machine on the bottom. You, we can remove those if you didn't need them, but they are nice when you need them. Um, some pantry storage, I don't think I showed you this. Got all the nice pull out drawers. Oh yeah. Makes mama happy, keeping things organized. All right, two full baths. I think I mentioned that earlier, but anyways, if I didn't, two full baths. This one's a one-piece fiberglass overhead skylight, glass door, Tecma, one of the macerator toilets in it. Medicine cabinet with a mirror. Uh, bunk beds, TVs. We got a little Western film playing in this one on a DVD. All new bedding in it, ready to go. Never been slept in, the bunks. All right, king size bed in the master, overhead ceiling fan, three roof airs, okay? And okay, before I forget, let's touch on that. I mentioned dual 3000 watt inverters. So as you notice right now, the generator is not running, okay? The generator, as we'll go to our screen, what does that say? The generator is stopped with 61 hours. But take note, this roof air is running. I don't know if you can hear it, it's quiet, but that roof air is running. How is the roof air running with no generator? Because the roof air takes 120 volts to run. Well, it's because this coach has the dual Victron Energy 3000 watt inverters. 
One of the inverters is running your refrigerator, your microwave, stuff like that, your outlets through the coach. The other inverter is running this middle roof air. So we're literally taking a 12 volt battery bank with those Dragonfly lithium batteries with a real high amp hour. We're stepping it up through the inverter times 10. So we're taking 12 volts, turning it into 120. And we're literally running the middle roof air conditioner with no generator on. So our solar panels are keeping our batteries charged. And if we were driving the truck down the road, the alternator on the engine is also feeding back into the battery. So it's like a little onboard reproductive system. And what does it do? Well, it saves hours on the generator. I mean, typically a lot of your hours are, you know, getting to the event, getting to the campground, getting to the racetrack. You're running that generator to keep it cooled down back here. But uh, with the upgraded dual inverters, Renegade wires the mid one of the inverters to that middle roof air so you can keep the ambient temperature back here chilled off with no generator hours. How about that? Uh, sliding pocket doors. So there's a door here and there's also a door back here that, you know, keeps like some privacy for the folks in the bunks. Uh, king size bed, uh, cedar lined closet back here. Clothing rod in it. Very nice. Again, excellent quality from our friends at Renegade. Always brag on those guys. For a high production company with lots of coaches leaving, I think they told me one year they build six or 700 coaches a year. I could be wrong, but I remember that. That's a lot. Um, master bath, tiled shower, solid service with a teak, fold down seat, and the skylight above it, glass doors, uh, little vanity, medicine cabinet. Let me step out of the way here. Okay, another Tecma toilet. So two full baths. Mama gets to have hers in the back and then everyone else gets to use the middle one. That's right. All right, I think we covered everything. Uh, 150 gallons of water under the bed. We said, you know, twin 75, 75 gray and black, 16,000 miles. X15 Cummins under the hood with a six speed Allison. Um, give me a call. If this is a coach you're interested in, don't wait. I'm telling you, it won't be here long. This is a nice one. It's built, at, you know, loaded with all the options, everything everyone wants. It's got a killer paint job, the right power under the hood. So check us out online, chasecoach.com. Hit that subscribe button. We'll throw that up there on the screen. We would love to have you following us and spreading the word of Chase Motorsports in Paducah, Kentucky. We take a lot of pride in what we do. Uh, we handpick inventory and sell some really, really, really nice stuff. So would love to hear from you. Would love to meet you. Oh, did I mention we also buy coaches? So if you got one for sale, um, give me a shout. We, we buy. We don't have to just take them on trade. We do buy them. Uh, financing available, trades accepted, and we deliver nationwide. So give me a shout. Appreciate you watching today and hope you learned a little bit about this one. And if you think it's something that would work for you, just uh, give us a call. Hope you're having a great day and until next time, later.